Hello there, it's me, Carl Welshman, and I'm back with a beer review for you today. Today we're going to be talking about Brewdog's Palm Beach Pina Colada New England IPA coming in at a 6.5%. I've been watching a few other beer reviewers out there that have talked about this one and um, yeah, it's been a bit of a mixed bag. Been a bit of a mixed bag. Different views and opinions, mostly negative. Mostly people saying that it doesn't taste very nice, but I actually quite like pina colada. I've been drinking Vocation pina colada sours for quite a while now. I'm, I'm getting a bit worried that they're not going to do them anymore because they're on the uh, sort of sales section of their website now and they've been going down and down in price. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking that they're kind of on their way out. So, um, yeah. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of excited about trying it because I like pina colada. Um, but I'm also a little bit worried because, you know, there's been so many negative reviews. However, I've seen some really positive reviews about that fucking Northern Monk hot cross bun beer that I had the other day, which... I, I, I think I gave it a, a six. In hindsight, I think I'd give it a fucking five or a four. It, it wasn't that nice. So, you know, we've all got different taste buds. I don't know what's the matter on my tongue. My tongue's fucking weird. Anyway, without further ado, get that open. Nice smoke on the tin. I can smell it already. Oh. Smells like pina colada, that's for sure. You fucking got that right, brew dog, you bastards. Let's have a look. Is that in my... Look how water, look how much water I got. I just bloody get that out of there, Carl. That's gonna ruin it. You know, let's get that in. Let's have a look. With it being a New England IPA, I'm expecting it to be cloudy. What we got going on here? Now we got we got cloud. No cloud, I'm gonna just stop there. I'm just gonna stop there. I got a little glass I have it's not enough for a big tin like that <laughs> for, a, for a big boy like that <laughs> very very pina colada-y pina colada is like you know mix of fucking creaminess and pineapple and coconut so you gotta you get in the fucking coconut and creamy pineapple for, for fucking definites no denying that Let's go on for a taste. Oh. Huh. Huh. That caught me off guard. That's caught me by surprise. I actually thought it was going to be sweeter. And I'm glad that it's not. Straight off the bat, that is nicer than that fucking hot cross bun beer I had the other day. It, it, okay, so you've got a nice bitterness. Kind of a, a coconut -y creaminess throughout. That's actually really nice. Kind of, what I always go back to from BrewDog that I, I really like is their Mallow Laser Quest. Like the Mallow Laser Quest is a fucking mess of a beer, but it tastes delicious. It's like marshmallowy, and it and it really works. It tastes like proper marshmallow, and, and there's something kind of Mallow Laser Questy about this as well because Mallow Laser Quest, I can actually drink quite a lot of them. And it doesn't feel too much, even with it being kind of what I class as a novelty beer. I, I can carry on drinking them, and, and, and I could see myself drinking a lot of these as well. It's, you've got your standard kind of IPA flavour, a little bit more bitter, not so heavy on the fucking stone fruits, but that coconut, it works really good. It works really good. I like that. 
If you like pina colada, you all know the song, sing along with me. If you like pina colada, fucking pina colada. If you like pina colada, fucking pina colada. I think this here, right? I could see myself walking along on the beach, shirt off, right? Giving the ladies and gents quite the show. Sipping on this, I don't know, just having a nice old time, all good. Checking out the sand castles, going, that's a good sand castle, that's pretty good. That one's a bit shit. That one's nice. Nice moat on that one. I like what you've done. Mmm. Too tall. Take some of those turrets down a bit. Fucking easy, tiger. Easy. All right. That one looks more like a fucking sand penis. Get that off. Get rid of that. Now we don't want sand penises. Everything's going A-OK. -okay. Big fucking crab. Falls from a seagull's mouth. Lands on my head. Pinches that fucking... Uh, fucking pinch in my skull. One of them manages to break through the skin, not one of the crabs, because it's not multiple crabs. Then another crab does land on my shoulder, but one of the claws has broken through the skin here. This one, he scurries up, goes into my ear. I'm like, woo, 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 woo. fucking quickly have a sip of that. The coconut immediately goes into my blood. The fucking crab that's on my head, it goes into his claw, the coconut. It goes like that, fucking blows up, flies off. The one that's in my ear, it goes into my brain. I get a fucking crab brain as well as my own brain. Then I manage to solve all of the world's problems because I've got double the brain capacity. And that's all thanks to this delicious brew dog, Palm Beach Pina Colada New England IPA. You surprised me today. You surprised me today. Well done. Congratulations on your big fat eight out of 10. Well done again. Now, I'm gonna go back in the room there. It's Sunday evening. I'm reading some comics. I'm listening to some rock and or roll, otherwise known as some heavy metal, and just chilling out. I'm having a good old day. Monday, Carl. <laughs> Let me tell you, he ain't gonna be having a good day at all. <laughs>